Hey guys, it's Bella here. Today I have a very special video for you. I am going to be making a PVC pipe trombone. And right here is my diagram. And right now I'm gonna go to Home Depot and buy all my PVC pipe stuff and then I'll get back to you. All right, bye. Okay, I'm back and it's actually two weeks after I made that video and I completely forgot I was making a video. But I want to show you the final outcome two weeks after, after I went to Home Depot. Home Depot people were trash, so I had to go to Lowe's. And I had a special helper named Reese who helped me make this trombone. It's kind of cool. So let me explain to you how a trombone works. Alright, this is the basics. So in my trombone, I have a bunch of different size of PVC pipes, as you can see. This bigger one is actually a one inch PVC pipe and the smaller tube, which is not the sliding part, is actually a half inch PVC pipe. Um, I have a plunger head for my bell. I have a bunch of connecting stuff. It looks like a trombone. I even have a mouthpiece, actually this is for my baritone, which I play in school. Um, so the basics of a trombone is really simple. You have this sliding piece called a slide and what it does, excuse me as I get this back on, this is the problem, it doesn't, <laughs> once you take it off it doesn't come back on. Okay, here we go. And so basically when you slide lower you are increasing the distance of air that has to travel, which lowers the frequency of the trombone, so therefore you get lower notes, and sliding upwards means you are increasing the frequency of the trombone, which means you are getting higher notes. Basically simple, and you will see me play this in class. This is the basics of a trombone, or of my PVC trombone.